Um, I've been thinking about this whole, you know, um, January 6th coup attempt, and there's something I'm not getting. So the, these, you know, these white supremacists, the prepper militia types are the, are, we consider them to be the biggest terrorist threat in the United States. And, and I think the implication is that they, they like got they have guns and stuff, you know? like they're, they're armed. Right. And, and they're, I mean, my understanding is some of them like practice and, you know, prepare to use the guns. Right. They, they believe there's going to come a time when they'll have to use, you know, exercise their right to bear arms, right. To, to fight government tyranny. And they see taking place in their minds, government tyranny. So they, they decide to show up in DC to stage a, a coup, a, a, a violent takeover of the U S government, I guess. And they put together a seven point plan, but no one writes into the plan, bring the guns. So they show up in DC and no one has guns. So I'm, I'm just wondering like what, what happened? Did someone like say to the, the, the lead prepper militia terrorist guy, um, shit, we, we forgot the guns. It's like, oh, whoa, damn, we didn't write it into the plan. So no one brought their guns. I mean, what happened? And then did he say like, look, you know, um, look, uh, Google and find the nearest target and then take up a collection and we'll go buy a few cases of pepper spray. You know, I mean, is, was that the thought process? Is that what happened? And, and you know, what was the thinking? You know, like, you know, you know, the, the, the military is never going to expect, you know, to, that we're going to be armed with pepper spray. So we'll be able to like pull this thing off. They're going to be totally taken off guard. They're going to think we have weapons. <laughs> And, and they're going to see that we have pepper spray, you know? So I'm, I'm just not, um, I'm not understanding the, the logic behind this. Um, let me know your thoughts.